Hello, welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Ian. Today, follow along in my legs up the wall routine. I'll explore some of my favorite movements for my ankles, my knees and my hips, with benefits to my core and for some flexibility. As restorative as this exercise can be, the first move isn't always easy to get those legs up a wall. I recommend that we slowly get to our bum, slide over to a wall, pack a shoulder as per our get up, maybe even brace using the wall and return your back to the ground. Take a second, bending knees and hips, lifting legs, pushing off the wall with a rotation to have our feet on the ground. By ground, I mean the new ground, the wall. Working from the top down at the head neck, chin tuck, crown or top knot high. Shoulders pull low, elbows extend, and hands rest on the floor, arms somewhere 45 degrees or similar at the shoulder. Make sure your low back and core is feeling all right. How are those hamstrings? Are your knees straight? And what about those feet? Gently at the feet, pull up the kneecaps, straightening the knees, and continue the pull to dorsiflex the ankle. Hang out in the dorsiflexed ankle position and plantar flexor point one, flex the other. Alternate nice and slow and trace the big toe line straight through the leg. A nice straight ankle or a straight foot Dorsiflex, plantar flex. Also turn in and out. Without the ankles moving at the heel, slowly feet together, feet apart. Roll in, roll out. Return to center, slowly bend those knees Pull yourself towards a squat with the feet flat on the wall. Pulling a knee in and out, gently roll in and out of that hip, keeping the big toe heavy on the wall. Alternate to the other side, big toe stays heavy, away from the body and back in. Away. and in. Return to neutral, tuck a chin, set the shoulders, slowly migrate those feet back to center, and extend. With one heavy dorsiflexed ankle, flex the hip on the other, and add a point. Internally and externally rotate on the hip, inseam shows it to your face with a straight knee, and hide the inseam. Repeat, hide an inseam, flex the angle, extend to the wall. Repeat, and point, turn, an internal hip rotation, which might look like I have to work harder for, and if it does, it's because it is. And then again, the external rotation, and internal rotation. Last one. And find the wall. Take time. Return to your squat with the chin tucks. From this position, can we try to pull a foot off the wall? Drive one foot heavy into the wall as we pretend to lift the other. Keep those hips level and ask yourself where you're pulling from and relax. Chin tucks, repeat on the other side, foot heavy in the wall on right and pretending to pull up that left for four, three, two, relax. One more time, heavy on my left foot gripping pulling up from those adductor groin muscles and my hip holster right around here. And we're gonna do that for four, three, two, 
and relax. And lastly, left side, heavy on the right, pulling up on the left, and again, that hip holster, talking, asking for work. And relax. Take your time, walk the feet together, and extend back up the wall. From this position, we can practice our breathing drills and many more exercises. Let's slowly take our legs down the wall and save those for another routine. Take your time, return to your side. Thank you for following along with my legs at the wall routine. My name is Ian and I'm from Bars and Bells. I train simple, I stay strong, and hope to share with you again. Thank you.